Good morning, everybody. What you are witnessing is called Raggio Taizo. Every morning, the locals get together for a community exercise. In this local park, it's very relaxing. We'll make a few laps around the park. And if you all feel like you'd like to join in, please feel free. Exercise like nobody's watching. We'll swing around to the front. That's where the real rock stars are. The bashful ones are always in the back of the class, right? Those that got it really going on, they put their cheese in the breeze and get right up front. Some like the comfort of being near a tree. It's a warm September morning, but the sun's not out here. It's a cute doggy. Hey, buddy. What's the most? Hey. Shiba Ken desu ka? Shiba. Hey. Cute. Chou everybody doing? I love those black Shiba Ken. They're so cute. The markings on them are beautiful. So if you're just joining, I'm going to speak quietly because we're right in the middle of radio exercise. Raggio Taiso. It doesn't just happen in my neighborhood. As far as I know, it's all over Japan. And there's a radio program that they play at 6.30 in the morning, every day. And I love these guys. These are the, they're the uh, orchestrators. The white glove guys, here we go. We'll sit here and watch this guy for a minute. That's it. And the zombie hour has finished. That was quick. I usually thought it was longer than this. But isn't this it's a lovely little park? And everybody goes home and makes their breakfast. But it's a it's a nice little social moment for the locals. This guy's the rock star right here. The ladies are always talking to him. It's like, you know, whenever you're the center of attention, you get treated like a god. This guy on the right here, and that's his buddy on the left, and they bring the, the radio and play every morning. But they also have a little bit of a, a warming up that they, uh, they do in the morning before they do this Raggio Taiso, which is uh, it's broadcast. Um, I'm assuming it's the same station that all the, the communities listen to. 
but they have their own little they have their own little uh, routine. These guys, they're so cute too. These old old geezers. It's good on them. Good on them. So is it Rajio Taisoa Mayasa this car? Mayasa. Okay, not a So I know. この今あの YouTube あのちょっと友達とあの録音して説明してるんですけどあのえっと同じラジオ番組あの日本で全体同じあそうですか NHK でお NHK あ NHK で毎朝ねなるほどなるほどね。やってるね、ああそうですか、うん、何年ぐらいやってますかここでですかここでねもう8年八年ぐらいになるから8年ですかうん、うん、いいね、うん、いいいい,あそういい体操ね体、うん、スマートになるね、うん、どちらのですか私はあの私アメリカですアメリカはいああそう I want to say hello. You speak English?、Uh, uh, できますかできない。できない。<laughs> All right. So, 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 I'm t a s h i w a o n h i g a s h i k a i g a n America, no, h i g a s h i k a i g a n this. All right. Yes, no, New York, Denver, t o k a New York, it's good. New York, a nine. Then America, it's good. Nine. Nine. Oh, okay. k a i g a i no, Ryoko. We've been overseas. ヨーロッパの方行ったんですけどね。あ、okay, okay. まあ、ヨーロッパ、いい、いいところね。ありがとう。はいはい、すみません。おはようございます。Some trouble with the gimbal here. <laughs> Just give me a second here. The gimbal was going haywire. Yeah. A lot of,、um, a lot of Japanese, the, the elderly,、um, have not been to the West. They've, they've remained in Japan and、uh, are completely content with that. But well, what I wanted to, to get here, I, wasn't, I thought this would go a little bit longer, but、uh, this is Rajio Taiso, and、uh, I call it the zombie hour because when you, you get here, as they're starting to arrive, everybody's just kind of quiet and shuffling in, and they look like zombies. So I call them the silver zombies. So in Japan, silver is, a, is the, the color associated with the elderly. So、um, they have like, uh, uh, Sidaba is the pronunciation, so Sidaba Senta. So like,、um, it's, a, it's a community center where elderly go and hang out, and that's the Sidaba Senta. Sidaba Sabis, people that are retired, they don't want to just. Get all wrinkly and sit at home and do nothing. So they,、uh, they stay active by doing, doing things. They learn, a, they learn a trade as a part time job. So, for example,、um, some will become gardeners. So they go through some training and they will go and do gardening at your house for very, very cheap, like a thousand yen an hour, which is like、uh, $10. Ten dollars for an hour of,、uh, of working in your garden. So you, it's any sort of trade. There's、uh, people do cleaning. We have a, a lady come and help us once a week、uh, clean our house. And、uh, they, they do babysitting. There's all kinds of things. So、uh, it's a good thing. So, silver, the Sidaba Sabis, the silver service. And this is the, 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 my silver zombies. So, I, I like to come here and、uh, be amongst them, mingling, socializing, having coffee and donuts. Not really, but that would be fun, wouldn't it? You learn a lot from, from the elderly. Very, very wise people. So, that was Rajio Taiso. Now, let's have a little chat with you guys. How are y'all doing? I'd like to interview. There's a couple ladies over here. Maybe I should interview them and ask them if they've been, if they, uh, although my, my translation skills are not what they, I won't say what they used to be, what they never have been. <laughs> so, anyway, it's a beautiful morning in Tokyo, and 
it is a holiday here. Oh, that's actually, I don't know what the holiday is. Let me ask these ladies. Let's see if we, oh, they're stretching now. Crap. I don't want to inter interrupt their stretching. And this cute, another sheep I can't. Hey, guy. Hello. <laughs> Edith Scott. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, you're so cute. Say hello to everybody. Shiba Ken, that's me. Ah, how kawaii. Yasashi, ne? Daitai, Shiba Ken was just shy, ne? Just like his owner. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Didn't want to talk. He's out of breath, you know, he's been doing that Raggio Taiso. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody doing good? So today's a holiday, and uh, so I've got the day off. It's Monday, and I don't know what to do with myself. Might head out uh, and try out a, an interesting cafe that I, I found um, in Harajuku. And if I do, oh hello, good morning, JK. That's oh it's oh thank you, thank you, Josh. Thank you. Oh, how ironic, how ironic. It's respect for the age day. Yeah, I'm a Somali pirate. This is my, my ramen gear. When I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my second life, my next life, I wanna be a ramen chef. And I'm just, just trying out the gear. You know, you never can be too prepared. So yeah, not a Somali pirate. Ramen chef, please, let's get it right. So, good morning to everybody. JK, you doing good? I'm surprised you're up this early. JK is my friend Josh Keller, everybody. Josh is also a voice actor in Japan. If you come to Japan and you ride the Tokyo metros, Josh's voice will welcome you and make you feel comfortable and all squishy. He says, uh, what does he say? The next train bound for Maidai Mai is approaching on track number two. They should have had me do it. Get a lot more tourists here. So respect for the age day. How ironic that we came here. I didn't know. See, I, you know, I see in the calendar that there's a, a holiday coming up, but I never take the time to, uh, to figure out what it is. I just enjoy the day off and with my family. You know? As soon as these golden gals stop stretching, I'm gonna try to talk to them. But you don't interrupt golden gals when they're doing their calisthenics. I've learned that the hard way. Yeah. So, is anybody there? Anybody listening? Hello? How about giving me some, give, no, don't give me the, the thumbs up. Hi. Hi, Rod. It's respect for the age day in Japan. So for all the, the wise, wonderful, aged people in your life, how about clicking that thumb up? It's not for me. Oh, here's some, some, oh, nice pickup line there, Hiroshi. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he just said to those ladies? Hey, you come here often? I've heard that one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Red. I didn't see your question. What's your question? Red Gonza. Shoot, again. What's your question? It's kind of hard. Sometimes when the, the, um, the chats go through very quickly, and it's hard to catch, so sometimes I miss super chats and I miss people's questions that are pertinent, and I'm sorry. Uh, okay, here we go. It started in 1966 as a national holiday and was held on every September 15th since 2000... Okay, since uh, 2003. Respect for the Age Day is held on the third Monday of September due to the Happy Monday system. Thank you. That was in from... Uh, me us. All right. Thanks, me us. 
Are oh, you coming in October? Good, Renee. You'll enjoy yourself. Is this your first time? Maybe not. <laughs> right. Thank you, Josh, for that <laughs> that comment. Yeah, I think it's uh, so. In Japan, um, a pickup, like when you when you you know what we say in English, uh, you know, some guy he tried picking me up on the street. Okay, so in Japanese it's called nampa. So this is what we're witnessing right now is silver nampa. Nice one, Josh. Yes, it is morning in Japan. It is uh, almost 7 a.m. You can tell by the bags under my eyes. Also, I kind of look like a swimmer. Like I'm about ready to uh, swim laps in an Olympic-sized pool. I wouldn't even make one lap, probably. But look at those bags, man. I got a pretty good sleep last night. I went to bed fairly early. But there's been something in the air here that um, a lot of people are sneezing and allergy stuff, so, yeah. Uh, first time, oh good, Renee, you're gonna have an awesome time. Everybody does. I've said this again and again and again, and it's the truth. Everybody has an awesome time in Japan. And you don't hear about that when people visit other places, except for the happiest place on earth, which is Vanuatu, and I've never been there. And I'm a pretty happy guy, so I imagine I'd just explode with joy if I went there. But Japan is an amazing place. Everybody has a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you, Anil. Hey, Sashi Budi, how you been? Thank you. Hello, Hiro. Um, but you, you have an awesome time. You've, you've watched these programs, other YouTubers, and you've seen stuff on Japan, and it's all true. It's very safe. The food is just out of this world. The people are super friendly and helpful, and you'll have a wonderful time. That's guaranteed. And what about Peter? Always. Thank you, Neil. Always a pleasure to see you here. Thank you. Thank you, Anil. Appreciate that. Jim Dog. Hey, thanks for yesterday. Or when was that? Friday? Friday, yeah, Friday. No, Saturday. It was Saturday. Two days ago. Thank you for your super chat. Appreciate that. How are you doing, Jim? Uh, Red asked, when are you going to the voice of Frank West in Dead Rising? <laughs> okay. When am I going to do the voice of Frank West in Dead Rising? I don't know. I haven't heard any... any uh, anything about that project if there is one I don't know but I'd certainly be happy to do Frank West well his voice at least all right Mr. Smooth up here always see that's what we can learn from the wisdom of the silver zombies he's not going home alone I shouldn't even joke about that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Anyhow. Yeah, yeah. Go on with. No, but, well, they're, they're making, they're probably gonna do a lap. They're probably gonna do a lap. They really do clean out very quickly. Um, they, they do their exercises and their stretching, and then they head home and have their breakfast and do their thing. They're really pretty good. There's a there's a lot of um, in my neighborhood. There's a lot of elderly people, and uh, they stay active. There's not there's hardly any that I've seen that are shut-ins. Um, they have all kinds of activities. Activities. They get these activities. They've got the activities that people enjoy um, at the community centers. They call them cheeky cheeky centers which i find so funny you know the british word for cheeky but it's spelled differently but that's how it's pronounced the cheeky center and they go there and they have social events they do um things to keep their minds sharp and uh yeah it's it's a it's a, a good good thing they the the japanese revere the uh 
the aged, as they should, as all communities should, give thanks to our, our uh, people who have made our country great before us. So, yeah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm more respected there than, yeah, I believe so. I agree, Mike. They're more respected here than they are in the West. But you'd never want to toss them away. You know, it's, uh, they're, an, they're an important group. We're just gonna do a lap and talk and chat. I rarely have a time to chat with you guys, so um, this will be a, a good opportunity to answer any questions. Um, and we'll, uh, yeah, do that. So if you're just tuning in, you missed the Silver Zombie Hour, which is the Raggio Taiso. And I was speaking with that, that gentleman, the Oji-san, and uh, he's one of the, uh, the leaders of this Silver Zombie Hour. And it's called Raggio Taiso. And every morning, 6.30, regardless if it's a holiday or not, they have, on NHK, they play this radio program. And it's, a, it's an exercise program. And it's not just for the elderly, but that tends to be their target market. Um, and they do stretches and bends and just to keep their, keep their bodies limber. And it's smart, it's smart. And these people are smart. And their bodies are smato. That's Japanese, katakana, smato. That means slender, like a nice, nice slim body. Yeah, it's really morning over in yeah it is in morning it is morning in Nihon. I'm surprised. Yeah, hi hi in New York. Yep, yep. It is morning. It's the next day. That's how it works. Japan's always a day ahead of y'all. Here's another dog. Maybe we'll just make this a dog tour. Little Jack Russell, he's kicking up dirt over here. Let's check him out. Let's say hello. Ha ha, that's how it got to be elderly. Pasamas. Jack Russell, isn't it? So desu. Yes, guy. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're so friendly. Oh, yes. Hello, 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 hello. What's your name? Ku. Ku. Ah. Ku, like, uh, no. Toshima Ku. No, no, no. Ku. Oh, cool. Not a whole, not a whole. Ah, cool. Cool. So, cool. His name is cool. You are cool. How about you hold still so we can take a good picture of you? Ooh, you want to eat this? You want to eat the camera? Oh, you're so cute. This is cool. All right, cool. You stay cool, okay? Okay? How old is cool? He's five years old. Oh, yes. Hey, you're Genki. Sagoku Genki, da ne? Okay. There you are. I had it zoomed in too much. Hey, cool. Say good morning to everybody. Can you bark? Does he bark? Wa wa suru. Tamani. Ah no, nante no. Wa. Suru. Okay. I'm gonna keep walking. I gotta get my exercise. All right. You got plenty. You got plenty already. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye, cool. Bye bye. Bye bye. He wants to come along. Thank you. That was cool. That was cool. So, uh, yes. Ozumas. Come on. If you were to get a dog, what would your dog of choice be? Oh, good question. Thank you, WH Toronto. Um, you know, I like dogs. I do like dogs. I'm more of a cat guy because I'm selfish and lazy, and cats are so independent, and I like their personalities, and they just, they're plug and play. I mean, you just bring them home, you put a bowl of food out, you give them a box to do their business in, and you can enjoy their company and 
then at night you say, all right, catch you in the morning. And the next morning you say, all right, catch you tonight or whatever. And they're cool with that. Dogs are like slobbering all over the place, crapping all over the place. I mean, I, I still enjoy their company, but all right, so back to your original question. What kind of dog would I get? Um, are there cat dog hybrids? No. I, what type of dog would I get? Hmm, I had dogs growing up. I guess, well, there's certain breeds that I, that I tend to be more attracted, like, the, like that Jack Russell. My sister and husband have a, a Jack Russell. Well, he's a, he's a kind of a mixed Chihuahua Jack Russell. And <clears throat> he's a lot of fun. He's got a great, he's got huge, they have huge personalities, you know, and they're just, they're fun. They're, they're always happy. Um, so I like, I like smaller dogs, I guess. Um, yeah, I think, I think I would go with more of a medium sized dog. Something you can get on your lap. You can't get a Great Dane on your lap without need for a medical attention soon after. Oh, here's the, uh, this is my, my ride. Some of you have already seen that, but this is, this is my nine bot, my Segway. Anywhere else, I haven't, I haven't locked it up. I mean, there's no silver zombies that would even know how to ride it to, to begin with, but you can leave stuff out and nobody will mess with it. They walk by, oh, that's interesting looking. They see it, but they would never ever dream of taking it. Anywhere else, it'd be gone lickety split. Hang on a second. Yeah, Shih Tzu are, are nice, Shih Tzu are nice. Um, how about you? So how about you guys? You guys, are you dog people or cat people? Who prefers cats? Who prefers dogs? Let's get a hand count. There's some more dogs over here. Now see, I'd be really going crazy if these people were walking around with their cats, but they don't. They walk around with their dogs. Neither. We got Debbie Downer here in the chat room. John Van Dilk. You don't like cats or dogs? Cat, cats. Yeah, right. Dog, dogs. I know Josh loves dogs. <laughs> Cute. Turtles. Hmm, interesting. Okay, thanks, Red Gonza. Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> Wolf. Okay, okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. So, I said I like smaller dogs, but wolves, wolves are just an awesome animal. And I think that would be very cool to have as a, as a pet. Um, somebody I knew in Washington, D.C. when I lived there, he had a, a wolf named Lucifer. And uh, it was a, an incredible dog. They're very shy and very um, loyal to their owner. Um, and it was an yeah, amazing animal. I don't, I'm not sure if, how ethical that is to have a wolf. I think it might have been from a domesticated family or something, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, Tasmanian tiger. Did you know the Tasmanian? I did not know. Tasmanian tiger w became extinct far before I was born. I'm not that silver red gonza, come on. Yeah, yeah, the maintenance for a dog is Tai Han. Tai Han in Japanese is, it's difficult. Tai Han, uh, it's, it's troublesome, it's difficult. Let's say hi to these guys again. Oh, they're getting away. Oh. Wow, Shiba has so many. Hey, what's your name? Taro. Taro? Ah, Taro. Taro, you're so beautiful. Look at your white hair. You're so soft. How old is Taro? Taro. Taro, ano, ikutsu? Ikutsu, nansai? Eh, 
Hasai. Hasai, okay. He's, a, he's eight years old. He's a beautiful, beautiful. Sugoku kirei ne. Atsui, ano, natsutoki, atsui. K wa chotto. Ah, yapari ne. So, ano, soji wo bakari desho ne. Ne. Yeah, yapari. So she said there's lots of hair on the carpet at their house in the summertime because Taro's there. He has such a thick coat. It's beautiful. And Taro's tomodachi wa? Komugi? Oh, komugi is just a chihuahua, isn't it? It's okay. Come here. It's okay. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's okay. Shy, isn't it? Hey, it's okay. Komugi. Komugi? Komugi. Komugi. Okay. Komugi is like a... Oh, wow, we got another... Here comes another guy. Oh, man, it's going to be a showdown. It's going to be a showdown. Oh, this guy, he, he's all business. He's all bite, no bark. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Wow, cool. Kakui, ne. Kakui. Bulldog. Bulldog. Bulldog? French bulldog. French bulldog. Hey. Wow, you're cool. Look at you. Look at you, man. I think I changed my mind about dogs. You got a cool face, too. Yeah, look at you. What's his name? Uh, one, two, three, Sun. Sun? Uh, three. Oh, okay, okay. So the kanji is Sun. Okay, oh. Uh. I'm Sun. Oh. Oh, okay. Not a whole lot of. Ah. Wow, you're cool. You're cool. Yoko Kuru desu ka? You come to this park often? Yoko Kimasu. Asa ai kimasu ne. Okay, san. Bye bye. Take care. Enjoy your morning. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. I had no idea there were so many dogs here. I didn't realize that. I'm the biggest dog of them all. I don't dare smell my hand after all those dogs slobbering on me. That's the other thing. Dogs, cats just don't, they don't slobber you. And get drops of drool all over your wood floors and stuff. It's actually a real problem at my house. Not with dog slobber, but the wooden floor, it's a uh, oak. And it's not sealed, I don't know why, but it's kind of a raw oak. So any little drop of water or something, you have to immediately clean it up or it leaves a spot. I don't like spots. I'm a clean freak. So let's see here. John and John. Okay. And if I'm talking a domestic to Osaka, then I'm sure to where my tour starts. With her. Okay, she's having a conversation with somebody else. And you're welcome to do on the Peter Von Gom channel. Anything goes, conversations. Have your own conversations amongst yourselves. You can talk with me if you want, ask questions. I'll do my best to answer. No problem, no problem. I'm teasing you. So, um, just a quick shout out to all you kind people, for starters. Appreciate your support, watching the program. I've got a lot of stuff, as I mentioned before, in the pipeline, a lot of videos coming up. I'm working on one right now, which I'm hopefully going to upload later today. And uh, it's pretty funny. So I lost, it's, I lost a bet. I bet my son, Joji, y'all know Joji, I bet Joji that he would fail his swim test. How's that for fatherly support? But I lost big time. And you're gonna have to watch the video and find out what happens. Just gives me the chills thinking about it. Oof. 
So, uh, how's the school year? Uh, Joji, well, actually, in Japan, the school year begins. Oh, here's another guy. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt this program for uh, breaking news. Another dog. Hey, you. Oh, hi, Ozamas. Wow, so good. So, this is Shiba. Wow, Shiba. There's a lot of different kinds of Shiba. Hey. Are you Toshitoru? Are you? Jui Sai. Hey. Oji san? Oh, no. Obasa. Okay. It's an older lady. Wow. What's her name? Mei. 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 Ah, so it's Eigo no Mei. M A Y. Okay. You've got an English name. Wow. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, Mei. Tabu no hoku no ino no nioi. わかるとも、あの、いろいろ、いない、め、え、オッケー。めっちゃ。め。へい。何よ。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッ
So I might do it at the beginning of October um, and take you all for a, a cool, nostalgic ride into Nagano and see some awesome little towns that are uh, very picturesque and where a lot of tourists don't go. Tourists tend to go to the more popular areas, um, Kyoto and um, when they're not in Tokyo. Um, but yeah, so that's in the, it's in my wheels, in my head, spinning around. And uh, yeah, does Japan have an excellent education? Yes, they do. Japan has a very, a very thorough education system. Um, they go to school on Saturdays as well, the younger kids. Um, so he, Joji doesn't go every Saturday. It's usually like twice a week, or sorry, twice a month, they will go um, to Saturday school as well which is a bit of a drag because that's when his English class is on Saturdays. So he has to skip some English classes. Now this is kind of cool. They have a, at this park, this is a waterfall and uh, it's not active right now, obviously, but um, when they turn on the water, it's very beautiful. So, maple trees and stuff. So, yeah. All right, we're just gonna do one more lap. And um, if you're just joining, you missed the, the silver zombies. They've all cleared out, gone home. So, um, we've been making up for the loss with all the dogs. There's been a lot of interesting breeds kicking around here. One time I had a little run in with a local here in this park. In fact, it happened right at this spot, right where we are right now. I was, I was walking, my brisk walk, speed walking through here. And this Oji-san, he, he is walking his little poodle. And, he wasn't paying attention. I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He wasn't paying attention and the dog stopped. You know, it's one of these things where the dog stops and he just kind of waits and he's looking around. Well, the dog drops his little poodle-sized poops right in the middle of our track, right? Where we're walking, people are walking and running. This is the cement path right here, like this guy's doing. So the fumes, the steam, smoke started coming out of my ears. So I went back around and I met him. I went back around the track and they were coming the opposite direction. So I, I, I met him the other way. And I was, I was just, I was pissed. Cause you're not, they don't do that here. They're very good about cleaning up. So I said, will you have your dog, you know, pick up your dog's crap. I said it in Japanese. And I said it politely, but I was like, dude, your dog pooped right in the track where everybody's running. Will you please pick it up? Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I didn't do that. Of course I would clean it up if my dog did that. I was like, dude, I'm like pointing over there. He was just all bent out of shape. But hey, man, sometimes you got to kick people in the butt. Let them know who's boss. Yeah, right. I'm the boss. I was polite about it, but we all get angry sometimes. Even PBG gets bent out of shape occasionally. It's not often, but you know, you wanna be able to enjoy a public space without, you know. Yeah, poop tea in it, right? I should have gotten a sample. No, what I should have done, what we do back home is you put it in a flame and paper bag and put it on their front doorstep. Avon calling. They come out and their poodle's poop has gone up in flames. And they stomp it out. It's a big mess then. My dad was the worst, man. Because, you know, in, in states, at least in Portland, um, when there's not really any, what do you call it, like a leash law or something? 
So, actually, it's gotten better. When I was a kid, there was dogs all over the place, running all over the place. And, you know, kids would get bit, and, but far worse than that, when a dog poops on your yard, forget about the bites. When a dog poops on your yard, that's war, man. That's how wars get started. So my dad, he would just, <laughs> he would get a shovel, pick up the poop, and deliver it to the, to the owner's house. <laughs> oh man, George, he was ballsy. He, he had that medical condition I call cerebral ballsy. So yeah, good George, good old George. He was a character. All right, kids, we're gonna wrap up our, our Raggio Taiso, our radio exercise for Monday morning. It's respect for the aged day in Japan today. It's a holiday, respect for the aged day. And I did not realize that. I knew it was a holiday, but I didn't realize it was respect for the aged day. And how ironic that I come here to introduce you guys to the silver zombies. That was fun. Thank you for joining me. And make sure you click those likes for the silver zombies in your life. Okay? Yeah, it was like it was a dog show more than the uh, silver zombie show. But hey, dogs need love too, right? Did any of you have a chance to uh, see the, the Wagyu festival? John, only in Japan, John Dobb and I both were there. Um, on Saturday competing for meat space at the Wagyu Festival. So if you haven't seen that, please watch it on my channel or his um, and see some fantastic Wagyu beef from all over Japan, the best. And yeah, yeah. No, Nida, no, 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 you're not a silver zombie. You're not a silver zombie. Um, anyhow. Thanks always for watching the channel, checking out the videos and uh, uh, subscribing, doing all that good stuff. Make sure you follow me on the socials. I upload stuff on Instagram almost daily, um, posting sometimes short videos, mostly pictures, but um, please check that out. And uh, again, thanks always. If you're interested in becoming a patron, I've also got some fun things on there as well. So uh, check out my Patreon account. And uh, that's also, in the link of this video, or if you just put in my name in Patreon, it will come up. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, appreciate that. All right, click those thumbs up. And in the comments, if you guys have any particular thing you'd like to see, I'm always open for ideas. I've cherry picked some good ideas from you guys for um, things to, to visit here in Japan or topics. So, uh, yeah, always a blast. Appreciate it. Have a great evening or morning, wherever you guys are. And uh, yeah, give a silver zombie a hug. The silver zombie in your life, give him a big hug for me and for the rest of the world. Tell someone you love them. Bye bye. Gambate. Gambate The friendly people. She said gambate. Gambate means do your best, be strong. Okay. Goodbye, guys. Be in touch very soon. Take care.